Star Wars, I mean Starfield, is slowly over the course of the next few years is going to transform into a complete overhaul Star Wars mod. And in its essence, we are in the very beginning stages of seeing Star Wars in Starfield. So let's take a look at the very best Star Wars mods you can get for Xbox right this moment. We have some really exciting mods to check out that you're going to love. It's only the early days, so there's so many Star Wars mods to come and we'll be covering it in its totality as we see it transform into what we think it can be. If you get anything out of this, come along for the journey. Let's get into it. Oh, I found it. Okay, here it is. What a place to hide it. The first mod we're going to look at is ATST Enemies. Now, this is terrific mod. It adds, it adds an all-terrain scout transport to a few different locations. And we're going to go check out a majority of these locations, give you a good idea of where to look, some of the quickest spots to find them. So you can go check this out. So the ATST is absolutely decked out. It's got a front laser. It has a side-mounted rocket launcher. It also has a side-mounted grenade launcher. It will fire a barrage of grenades. I think it's like three to four grenades comes in i think it's a level 120 as an enemy so this can be quite a good challenge especially if you have quite a high difficulty it has amazingly detailed red lasers just like you'd expect and it can traverse quite well and it's surprisingly quite uh, agile and can get around the maps quite well Considering that this is a mod, it gets around really, really nicely. Quite smart as well. Like if you're in a position, it can't reach you. It's going to run around and try to get into a direct line of fire. So the AI is quite good, but it's awesome to see something like this in Starfield. Definitely worth adding and trying your luck against it. So not only will you find the ATST at the at the Mars Mech Factory, in the same system we can go to Titan and you'll see New Homestead. So let's head over there. So here it is in all its glory. It's just chilling. Now these guys are friendly. So it's not going to attack you unless you attack it. And as soon as you do, you want to get out of there quick smart. But this is just another example of a location where you can find it. We'll go check the other location. So from the Sol system, the next one you'll find is at the Actoria Star, or system I should say. And in particular, Actaris 2, we should find a abandoned mech facility, which is a part of a mission. So you will probably know this location depending where you're up to in the storyline. But basically what we're looking for is a free star mech factory. I believe the mission to reveal the mech factory or to find it easy will be the first to fight, first to die. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the locations so the next place you can find it which is a friendly location so it's not going to do anything unless you attack it is going to be in the Ptolemon system and again this will be a part of another mission the hostile intelligence from the UC faction from memory which is where you discover Londinian and you should be able to land there and you'll see the friendly however if you just land on the forward base 441 if you haven't discovered that mission you will know you will find an ATST right there now it is friendly so if, again it's not going to do anything unless you attack but it's another cool location you can go visit to find it patrolling the uh, quite large city area which is pretty nice so definitely worth checking out so one of the last locations we'll cover you may be able to find olympus star system you just had to click down here then we want to go to dionysus which is the moon of ion so we set a course now depending on your luck you should either get a deserted ecliptic garrison a mars mech factory or a forgotten mech graveyard it could even be abandoned weapon station but should get one of them so if you land there you will find another atst it looks like i lucked out i didn't have the exact right location but it might be the location for you so i just wanted to include that as another possibility so going over that again you'll find the atst at the mars mech factory the abandoned weapon station location the new homestead which is friendly the freestar mech factory lodinian which is friendly and forgotten mech graveyard so those are some of the locations really nice mod you'll have a lot of fun with this depending on your difficulty nicely challenging as well now another really cool aspect of this mod is when you raid a mechanical corpse you get some good ammo but you also get some contraband mech component and keeping it realistic you actually get an atst pilot helmet and the pilot fatigues which translates to basically like your military clothing this next star wars mod is very simple it's just the ahsoka outfit now it says here it can be found at the sanctum universum i'll just show you where that is most of you probably know it already but it is this building here and just in relation to everything uh you can just have a quick look here i'll show you on the map as well that's going to be easier so looking at the map we are just to this building here it's very close to the the Aphelion realty so just uh head over to there once you've installed the mod oh i found it okay here it is what a place to hide it okay so that's it 
this is it right here so we'll go check it out how nice is this so we'll take it we'll put on the ahsoka costume i'm like yeah i'm on pc we'll just quickly change our appearance so we look like ahsoka oh and there we have it ahsoka's got a silly hat on one sec and there it is in all its glory so you'll be able to find it just in the corner here in the area mentioned looks fantastic very detailed and very close to what you'd expect very nice and this next mod is star wars melee or weapon replacer this is going to replace all your or a good portion of your melee weapons to star wars themes so we're gonna have to take a look at all of these but first off we have the combat knife somewhat of a damascus finish dirty blade let's go give it a quick test let's go shank some aliens <laughs> So we're just looking at the combat knife. Do note that some of the names aren't uh, reflected in the game. The mod get, might get updated to reflect the actual names. But next we'll take a look at the dark saber. So this will be pretty potent with your dress up as a bounty hunter. But here it is. We have the dark saber. Looks pretty cool. Next we have the dagger. Another really nice looking weapon. Very well detailed. In my inventory that is called the experimental or the shattering dagger. Under simple we have the best guard. Very traditional Mandalorian kind of weapon. We just get it rotating here and they're very nicely detailed looks great bit of a damascus finish overall nicely colored next we have the mandalorian vibro knife next we have the knight brother knife and next we have the vibro act check out the detail on this looks fantastic but there is another weapon called the stun baton but i'm having a bit of issue with that let me know if it works for you otherwise all the weapons are working so pretty neat now as for the animations for the weapons there's nothing too special they just work exactly like other melee weapons however still very very fun to use but you can see definitely adds a a little bit of flavor to your character and story building very nice mod let's keep moving the next mod is by the sniper 9 star wars armor pack comes with seven different custom spacesuits and clothing based off the mandalorian and clone trooper armor seen in the movies and shows all of these are crafted at the workbench do keep in mind most of these will just cost one credit cool thing about this mod is it will allow you to craft all these armor as clothing or as your typical spacesuit helmets and obviously your jetpacks will remain as jetpack first let's check out the din Djarin. now you'll find that in your apparel or clothing category and you can see it looks freaking epic look at the attention to detail and the reflectiveness it just looks absolutely mental and coupled with the dark saber it looks mean just zoom in here and yeah check that out absolutely stunning next we have bow canton and it's just as detailed and glorious looking now we'll just quickly jump back to in jarring again because i forgot to equip the backpack jetpack i mean and you can see here we have a few different options as well as the dinjarin Vascar helmet so you will get a few different choices for the backpack but ultimately they're pretty much the same so all it is doing is when you jump it will add a backpack and then hide it so you still get the complete look so very very cool and see how it just disappeared but otherwise otherwise you just get different variations of uh other it being a skip pack or a pack power pack or a balance pack or you can also just go the option where you get rid of the backpack altogether and it just keeps the cape and that's if you go for the Dinjarin Cape Balance Pack 2. So a few different options there. Next, we have Django Fett. Another amazingly looking detailed skin. We also have an option, a few different back jet pack. We've got the Z6 as that cool uh, rocket attachment. And we've got the Z12. But yeah, that's Django Fett. Very nice armor. Moving on to the Death Watch. Here we have the Death Watch Airborne Helmet and Armor. The Death Watch Dead Pack comes as a power pack or a skip pack. Then we have the Death Watch Night Owl Armor and Helmet. Looks very very cool and a very similar jetpack as well can't go wrong with this one here we have the shadow collective so we've got the grunt armor the helmet currently isn't working for me but this is the armor just in case you want to know however the super commando armor and helmet which looks so freaking unreal that does work correctly so no issues there i'm sure that other issue with the other helmet will be fixed soon now the next lot of armors are a bunch of the very similar clone trooper divisions and clone commandos so you have a ton of different variety of what armor and helmets you would like and you can mix match those of course so just to give you an idea obviously this looks terrible but just to give you an idea you have all the different color schemes for clone troopers and clone commandos basically now the other remarkable thing about this mod is that you can upgrade a lot of the different armors helmet just like you would other base suits and armor so very very nice mod it covers a lot in that sense so pretty much everything you can upgrade just as normal the next mod we're going to look at is the boba fett 1313 mod this is another reskin so star wars 1313 was a game that got uh, cancelled many years ago from my understanding <laughs> so crossbow and shoot the gringo have brought us this mod which allows you to play the protagonist of the star wars 1313 game that never eventuated and just like the other mod you can craft these at your industrial workbench and upgrade them let's take a quick look so it comes with the boba fett 1330 armor 
which looks like this. So this is without the cape. And we can actually attach the cape as well. And then we have both, which is pretty damn cool. Looks awesome. Or we can switch to a side cape, giving it a slightly a different appearance and look. And this is the helmet of the Boba Fett 1313, similar to other ones, but still very nice and detailed. Then we have two options for the Boba Fett 1313 pack. We got the skip pack and just the normal. I almost prefer how this one looks. It looks quite nice without the colors and a bit more rustic true to the uh, Boba Fett kind of look. And here we have the advanced Boba Fett armor, which to me, I can't tell too much difference. So let me know if you can tell the difference. I find it quite similar to me. If we have a look at the advanced to the normal, I can't tell a lot of difference. Maybe there's something wrong on my side. Keep in mind when you view the capes, it looks kind of weird without having armor attached. So attach armor and then you can apply the cape. It also comes with a nice hat as well. So you can interchange the helmet and the hat. Another very nice Star Wars Boba Fett gin mod. Let's move on to the next one. So then, so the next mod we're going to look at is the princess layer outfit mod this adds three new outfits that really fit in well so in order to get the princess layer costumes we need to go to your workbench and we'll need to scroll right down now the clothing is not free so you will have to collect the various resources for the most part you will just need some copper poly textiles some mag pressure tanks some titanium outside that just some cosmetics and some fiber between all the outfits that's all you will need but first up we have the Bausch outfit now this is from one of the classic original three Star Wars if you haven't seen it definitely gonna see it but uh very very cool pretty spot on very nicely detailed we uh zoom in quickly you can see that the textures are very nicely done and fits quite nicely now you do need to be mindful if you are playing a very large character that the clipping is going to be a bit of an issue there's future plans to sort out some of those issues but for now yet yeah, these things will clip into different characters depending on how big and tall and wide they are so keep that in mind so next we have the hoth outfit and this is awesome so this is very similar to the snow outfit from the original trilogy but very nicely detailed you can see here it is going to work very nicely with a character that is thin and perfect for or some of the female characters so it's a good looking one next we just have the classic adventurer outfit all ready for action suited up for more more of your warmer kind of climate great for a kind of an a killer city kind of attire fits in really nicely with the game kind of got a western kind of look to it doesn't it but very very nice so these are the three layer skins very very nicely done something you can try another thing that would be cool is if you could get pre-configured character loadout that'd be very nice does bring us to the next mod ties in perfectly with what we were just talking about this will add alien preset when you start a new game or go to ng plus or go to modify your character at Poruma you will find that you can select these presets. However, in order to get this mod working, we do need Star Wars Alien mod. So we'll cover both of these kind of in conjunction because the Star Wars Alien you will also need. So we'll look at these two right now, but let's start off with the Star Wars Alien player. We're assuming you've downloaded the Star Wars Alien and you've either started a new game or you're on to your new game plus. So if we go to your character creation, here we go. We can see some extremely nicely detailed characters we have someone here from the nico race or nico however you pronounce it you can get it in different colors which is very nice to change the age next we have some rhodian so we keep going along oh wow so we have a duras here look how detailed incredibly good it looks you can change the color as well get that amazing blue color so very very cool we will also find ourselves at a i think it is a clatoonian and again absolutely stunning very well detailed can't wait to see these guys walk around the universe we have a couple different options here for the color as well and if we keep going along we end up with a bith also looking very nice look at those crazy eyes reflecting all the light and a few different options there as well for color Next, we have a Trandoshian. <laughs> Look at this. Very cool. Very detailed. And we also have a few different color options again. Now, I was mistaken. We can actually morph these heads and uh, change the shape and size of them. So my mistake. So that is really cool. You can give them hair as well. Okay. Ah, now that is a sight you don't see all the time. Um, so that is actually pretty cool. You do have quite a lot of freedom in some of the aspects here. Not everything. Obviously, uh, eyebrows, you need eyebrows to, to change. But uh, you get the idea. So some things you'll be able to edit other things that you won't be able to uh, i suggest not clicking on jewelry because that has caused this guy's face to disappear. if you want to reset just uh choose a different preset and go confirm hey we got a mon calamari <laughs> awesome now that comes again in a few different colors we have blue we have green you are able to change some of the features again as well keep that in mind for all of them it looks like you can change some of the features but it is a bit hit
hit and miss. But you kind of expect that with a crazy face mod like this. Next, we have a QRN and similar sort of thing, very detailed and the nice colors that you can choose from and you'll be able to edit this yourself. Now, in order to get a Tolothian, you need to go into your face and it does look like we need to change the hair. So if we go to the hair, hair style and we muck around, we go to say 49. There you go. How nice is that? This will give you a lot of freedom as well because you'll be able to create everything else just as normal. Everything will be customizable. Just making sure that you've got the hair set and you have a few different options here for your hairstyle. And you've also, if you want to do, if you do want to create a czar break, you will need to, you will need to go to your hairstyle as well and add it that way. My mistake, this is not a Tolothian. This is a Dugruta, something like that around. My bad. Look a little bit similar. And lastly, I, now I'm going to murder this name, but I believe the species is Valik, Valik, something like that. Very close to that, but very cool. And this is, again, you would just be changing the hairstyle. You have a few different color options. Also giving you complete freedom to muck around with all the other facial features, body features. So that's it for your own player face mod for Star Wars. Some awesome options here. Keep in mind that this alien player mod adds only hair, tattoos, skin tones, and character preset to the existing list so there will be many mods that could potentially conflict with this mod so do keep that in mind if you are having some issues this might be one of the mods you need to consider to change but that is the star wars alien player for you very very cool now let's have a look at the very similar mod but it's just going to be looking at the npcs and replacing npcs with the various skin appearances hair and all that sort of stuff we just looked at into the actual world of starfield we already saw that previously when we're looking at the atst we'll look at it in a little bit more detail which brings us to the next mod star wars alien so this mod is taking several fully animated aliens from the star wars universe and attaching them to certain factions in starfield it adds it also does add some alien character preset new hairs tattoos skin tones so very much taking that person starfield mod and then applying it to npcs so if we go have a look around because what you'll start to see is throughout all the stars in starfield depending on where you are and what faction you're versing or if you're in some of the cities you'll come across some of the star war alien walking around the major cities towns areas it's fantastic so it really starts to give a little bit more of a star wars vibe so things to note is that the spaces will get alien faces same with the crimson fleet free star collective will have some aliens not only that let's head over to neon and you'll really get a feel for this mod seeing the alien faces mod in neon city is probably one of the coolest aspects of this mod it really fits in well with the overall design and characteristics of this city or town whatever you want to call it but the cool thing is it's also replacing the gang members with some of the aliens and certain gang factions will be tied to a certain alien race <laughs> so you get some really really cool and unique looking characters what a fantastic mod this one is perfect definitely give this one a crack even just to mix it up even if you're not into star wars definitely gives starfield much more of a futuristic sci-fi kind of game look so just keep in mind you want to download the star wars alien first and then the star wars alien player if you want to change your own personal character into a Star Wars looking alien race. And just quickly note for you PC players, we can use a command to access the player appearance modification window. <laughs> that was a random way to say it, but so you would enter this command show looks menu player two. Don't use the player one, always put player two because that will bring up the same interface as if you go into the enhanced clinic. If you use player one, it is going to bring up the one you get at the start of the game and that can kind of stuff some things up. So just be mindful, player two, when you want to change your character appearance. For us lucky PC players, hopefully consoles will get commands sometime down the track. The other thing that the Star Wars Alien mod does is it does add a bunch of the alien skins as individual pieces so you can go and craft them and wear them over your current character. So this is a cool way to go about accessing all the different aliens that we looked at without having to start a new game or go NG+. And you can also then put them and give them to your companions. But just here's a quick example. So we go helmet. If we go into the apparel, you'll see here we can turn our face into an alien just using these very, very handy craftable alien head skins. And then you can also give them to your companions. So for example, okay, so you just have to take off your helmet. I've got a mod on that keeps their suits on. So there you go. You can change your companions into aliens as well. <laughs> That looks freaking awesome. What a cool freaking mod. But anyway, fantastic mod. Let's keep moving. Next, we have Bosk and the Prendosian Merc. Now, this is a really, very nice and simple, effective mod, but it's another reskin mod. But what this mod does is allow you to attach basically a skin. So you attach a spacesuit and a helmet and you get to role play as a Bosk. What's nice about this is you actually get the mouth breathing apparatus for Bosk which is awesome. So a few things, are, this mod will also change all the ecliptic members into Trandoshians. So keep that in mind. If you do download this and you do want to roleplay, it is going to transform the 
the ecliptic members as well. For you Xbox users, do note there may be some issues where you'll see NPCs walking around with missing heads and limbs. I don't think you can kind of fix that unless you just do a new game or a new game plus, but a pretty neat little feature for those wanting to play some role play or just look freaking crazy. Now, just to quickly show you what I mean, so your spacesuit would be a boss spacesuit, which you would just attach and choose a jetpack of your choosing and then a helmet as well. That's how you get the boss and all that will be crafted at your workbench. But do note though, if you do get the, however, do note though, if you do want to role play as some of the star wars characters you're probably better off just going the star wars alien and then the star wars alien player and then configuring and selecting and building like a kind of boss character from there keep that in mind one last thing too is that this mod won't conflict with the star wars alien as that that will not change the mercenary faction at all so you have a look it is only going to affect a few other factions but not the mercenaries so this mod can sit comfortably with the star wars alien mod so the next two mods we're going to cover is the mandalorian as well as the book of boba fett armor now we're covering both of these at the same time as the way you have to find them is the same as you cannot construct these at your workstation. So this one's a little bit more of a hassle to get to, especially for Xbox players. PC players could just type in a command and get this. However, both of these mods, when you do get the armor, you can go and upgrade them at your base suit workbench and you can change some of the things and appearances. And the cool thing about this one is that these are going to be legendary. So they're going to have the legendary effects the same as Mantis armor. So I'll just take you how to find this area. And then we're just going to hone in and look at one of them. I don't think you can have both of these on at the same time me if i'm wrong but we're both getting we're getting these from the same area the exact same place you might not be able to get both of them though you might only have to pick one uh check comments or confirmation on that so let's go check that out now it'll be the same step for the book of boba fett and the mandalorian so to note that these are not mantis replaces apparently these are its own armor but we find it where the mantis is those that know what that is we can you can head straight there not going to give too much away on the bits and pieces but we'll just go to the location just so you can get an idea speed up the process if you are just after hunting this armor okay so we want to head to denabola level 30 system we want to go to Denabola 1B and there should be a location here, Lair of the Mantis. Okay, so when you land, you would just head to where the Mantis armor and suit is. So you just have to go through the motions of running through the Mantis quest or just go into the location where the Mantis armor is. So let's go see if that works. So I won't spoil too much more and I made a mistake. I didn't actually have the mod activated, but I'll just quickly show you the room where you'll find the armor. Now you find the armor on this mannequin, at least that's my understanding. However, if that's not the case, let me know in the comments, but it should definitely be in the Mantis lair. So that just gives you a rough idea. Now we'll take a close a look at the boba fett armor however what i can do is i'm just going to run a command so if you're on pc you could do this as well if you just want to get it without going to the mantis location what you can do is you can just type that in and then you will get the codes for the backpack the armor and the helmet so we just need to grab those codes as an example player item and it ends at 834 so that's just taken from there so that's the number that you're looking for this is for pc players you would just do that for the three item and i've turned myself orange i do have to say this is probably the coolest and best looking one love it does look absolutely fantastic so that is it that is pretty much all the star wars mods we have for xbox right now some fantastic mods i hope you got something out of this if you did did a like in subscribing donating anything really helps even just watching these is brilliant cheers catch you next time peace